it's uh, not fabricated. I mean, he pissed me off a little bit. I'm not, I don't know what he said about me on that rap tape, but uh, I'm sure it wasn't good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's you, you poked the wrong person, unfortunately for you. So, to be honest, I think we could uh, I think we could skip the swim and I'd still give them a run for their money. I'm pretty. But this guy just said that he could beat us if there wasn't a swim. Is uh, absolutely the farthest thing from the truth. I think okay, final... skip, skip the swim at the same, George. Yeah, I was hit by a car nine days before. Okay, sorry. But yeah, maybe you'll make fun of me for getting hit by a car too. That would be very much in your character. But you yeah, you have one I'm zero seventy point three. I'm still going to be. I won nothing. I'm one a zero seven. No seven point three is no Iron Man's. Yeah, and I'm, nobody is going to beat you. So that's what's difficult. There's a degree of respect that can come in the sport. <laughs> I think you take it serious too seriously. Too seriously. Yeah. Perhaps you should show that respect to other athletes. Okay. Okay, so. All right, here we go. Here we go. We'll settle it on the race. We got we'll some beef. it on the race. We got beef up in here. Yeah. Woo! I'm scared of him. I'm not going to lie to him. Yeah. I'm generally pissed off, and I'm not normally pissed off in the sport of triathlon. I'll show you guys later. Okay. This year's been amazing. Uh, I've been taking it a bit less seriously, having fun with it. And uh, yeah, I feel, feel really lucky to be paired up with two new athletes. So it's uh, a nice, uh, nice, uh, nice opportunity. Do you feel the coming man, or is that just nonsense and noise of other people? Uh, behind all the jokes and stuff, I'm, I'm pretty serious with what I do. Um, to be honest, I don't think Sam and me is cut from the same cloth, uh, and I'm going to show that. He cried out for allies, and he got, he got Lionel, so uh, they can two up DT, right. see if they can make it back. Got you. Okay, well, we'll give you a huge round of applause. Sam Lionel, obviously one of the stars of Edmonton. We'll have a round of applause, please, for the Colonel himself. Do you want to just quickly show the night? Was it the nicest smile in triathlon? Can you just share that? Well, I thought, I mean, we got you on. We're getting yeah. out to 160 countries. Yeah, I, I, I unfortunately, I got hit by a snowplow about 10 years ago, and then it popped off again in Montrambant, opening the bottles. So, right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> open the bottle the right way, and you should be all right. As you do. You were, like your wife told us in Edmonton, you were going in about 48 hours later to have it done, but you've resisted. I got the COVID, unfortunately, right. Uh, right before, so I'm thinking uh, the universe is telling me to keep it. Good. Yeah. We'll, we'll agree with that. Let's yeah, see how it goes yeah. tomorrow. Oh, on Saturday, rather. Tell us a little bit about what it means to you to be back, about the talisman that you are for this team and about the team spirit in Team International. I mean, Team International is great. I think we truly have a shot in this one. I would just like to speak to Sam Laidlow. Um, you guys might not know, but he's borderline a professional rapper. And in his first diss track, he actually mentioned both Sam and I, and he's going to regret that on right. Saturday. I assure you of that. Right. I don't know what he said, though. Which leads us to the question, how does it go? Uh, the end was, um, what's up, Sam Long? Uh, don't get me wrong, but you ain't that strong. Uh, change, your name to, change your name to Wong and take up ping pong. <laughs> Goes along them lines, right, yeah. Okay. Um, Family show, we might leave it there for now. But what we will do is say an enormous round of applause for what is going to be an epic matchup between these three. Well done, Sam. Congratulations to you. Sam Long. We have security to the front, please. That would be much appreciated for Match 8. Sam Laidlow, Sam Long and Lionel Sanders. Come on up, Dream Team. Come and have a chat. Nice to see you all. To see you nice. Sam Long, I'll come to you first of all. How is the water temperature today? Right. Yeah, the water temperature was good, and uh, I hate to ruin the happy, fun mood, and I think maybe this whole press conference was maybe made for the incidents that happened between the three of us yesterday, but I do feel it deserves a few words, so I'm going to interject. And first, I have to start, I guess, with my, my own past history. Um, I feel I put myself in this same position. You know, two years ago, I came out and, well, I started smack talk with Lionel and I started smack talk with Jan and I kind of made myself uh, the bad boy or the devil of the sport and uh, put myself into a position, I guess, to get a lot of hate. And I've now, so I was 23 at the time, like you don't always realize your decisions. And in a way I regret those decisions, you know, um, it, yeah, it put me in this role and I've worked hard to change that role. I've grown as a man and it's been trying to build the respect of people and the incidents yesterday um, brought that all back up and put it all back into place. And I feel I've been attacked the last three months and I tried to ignore it as I was moving on to a new role. And there's a video circulating out now. And yes, I've reached my breaking point. I think as any man would do, as anyone would do if you've been attacked for months on end, trying to ignore it and trying to create a new reputation and image of yourself. And 
anyways, I guess I just want to say sorry to everyone behind me, in front of me, if I've offended anyone in the sport. But my new MO, my new motto is building each other up, making the sport bigger, making the sport stronger. And I think banter can exist in that. And I guess the final part of that is to address what is happening tomorrow. Um, I feel the biggest issue at stake. And I can honestly say of every, of every athlete here, I feel there is a lot of mutual respect, except for the individual sitting to my right. And um, I have to stand up for myself as a person and as a human being and as an athlete. And there's been some serious things said, and I just hope they're backed up. And tomorrow is about earning my respect. And uh, that's all I have to say. We can go on to talking about stuffed animals now. Okay. Just right here, that deserves a round of applause. And Sam, I'll give, I'll give you a right to reply in just a moment. Um, thank you, Sam. And that's obviously, you know, it's a powerful thing to say, and it, it takes you know, courage to get up and do that. I do want to give you a right to reply and the opportunity to, to say potentially what you might want to off the back of that. Yeah, first of all, I just want to, um, my, my goal with this wasn't at all for it to go this far, Sam. Um, I think it's wrong in saying I don't have respect. I generally have a lot of respect for everyone that's here simply because I feel like I'm probably the athlete who's proved the least um, so far. That being said, I've got I've got nothing to lose on race day. So I also, um, I just, as I said, I, I want to have fun with it. And um, yeah, Sam, as you said before, he's been he's been trash talking people in the past. And uh, yeah, maybe I, I picked the wrong person and we didn't know each other well enough. I wanted us to chat privately and um, we haven't had a chance. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm I'm sorry for that, and uh, hope we can have a a real race. Would you be happy to have a quick chat off the back of this, bury the hatchet, or do we need to get through tomorrow's race and then we'll decide? Uh, I think we're the schoolyard dogs. We go out, we fight it out, and then we become friends. Okay, perfect. We'll put it into Saturday's post-match. Well done, guys.